In today's video, I'll show you how to request runtime permissions with Xamarin Forms very easily using the permissions plugin. So first of all, I'm going to create an empty Xamarin Forms app and then we'll start from there. Alright, now that we have our empty project, it's time to import the permissions library. We will add that library to our Xamarin Forms project and to our Android and iOS projects. And I will also add the geolocator plugin because we are going to request the user's location. We'll add this to our client projects as well. Now, adding NuGet packages to your projects is different on Visual Studio for Windows, but you have most likely encountered it. Alright, now we are on the official per permissions plugin GitHub page and now we need to do some setup. First we need to add on request permissions result method to our main activity. We'll just copy this from the GitHub page and go to our main activity and just add this method. And now we need to import the permission implementation library. Okay, now we have that namespace. Next, we need to set up the cross-current activity plugin because this library apparently uses it. This goes into our onCreate method. Now, as you can see, here we should have an instance of a bundle, but here in my own create it's not called bundle but it's called saved instance state so I'm going to rename it that's it now on iOS we need to edit our info.plist file and we need to add this I'll open this with text edit on Windows, you most likely want to open it with Notepad or something like that. Now we'll just save, and that's it. Now we are at our main page, so let's just build a button, and when it's clicked, we will request the geolocation permission, and then if the permission is accepted, then we will show the location information. Let's just add a button. Now we need to add an event handler for the click event and we're going to place that right over here. Now we'll remove this and make this method async because we're going to make async calls. Okay, first we need to get our permission status. Here we need to import some namespaces. Our plugin permissions abstractions namespace and also our plugin permissions namespace. Next we will check if the location permission is granted and if it is we then need to check if we need to show the permission rationale. Permission rationale is basically us telling the user why we need their permission. Obviously your rationale should be more descriptive than this but since this is an example this will be enough. And now we can get to requesting the permission. Alright so this method request permissions async will return a dictionary which will have a key of our permission and also the results as its value. So first of all then we need to check if it has the key permission.location even though it most likely has it's still the best practice. And as you can see if it has then we will set it to the results value. The next thing we need to do is to see if the permission was granted. If it was then we'll get the geolocation and display it to the user. Here we need to import our plugin.geolocator namespace. And also if the permission was not granted, we need to tell the user that he needs to grant the permission. Now, during this whole permission requesting process and getting the location, we can run into exceptions. So it's best to wrap this all this code into the try catch. Alright, now if the exception is caught, we'll just display an alert with the exception information. Okay, this code is just not going to work but let's run it and see what's wrong and then we'll solve the issue. 
Okay, now that our app is up and running, let's click the Get Geolocation button. Okay, so now it displayed us the alert with an error. That means that the exception has been tr thrown. Let's now run the debugger and see where the exception gets thrown in this try block. I'll put a breakpoint right here and run the app. Okay, now let's click Get Geolocation. Okay, now we'll step over. The permission is not granted obviously, we shouldn't show permission rationale, and now we'll request the permissions. Ok, so here is where it went into the cache block. Let's see what the exception says. Ok, so now we see that we get system.unauthorized access exception, uh, and this basically means that we need to explicitly state that we are going to use the user's location in the info.plist file. That is the same file we edited just 5 minutes ago in order to add the calendar permission because our library needed it. So let's go there back again and add that permission. Ok, now we are in the same place that we've been before. Ok, now we have pa pasted this in and let's try it again to see if it works. Let's just save the file and let's do it. Let's click get the geolocation. I still have this breakpoint over here, so let's see if it all goes smoothly. Ok, permission not granted, shouldn't show the permission rationale. And now it requests the permission. Let's allow it. Ok, now it got back the result. It's going to set the status. Now we'll check if the permission is granted, and obviously it is. So we're getting the results and displaying them. That is pretty much it. Now let's see if this works on Android. Ok, now we have our Android app up and running. Let's click Get Location. Here we are at the debugger. Let's go over this. Permission not granted. Shouldn't show permission rationale. And it tries to get access. We click Allow. and it got the results, sets the status, we check if it's granted, it is, and then it shows the location. And that's pretty much it, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will have the link to this project down below, and also the link to all these NuGet packages that were used in the video. That's it. That's it. I will see you next time. Mm.